welcome back. I'm gonna get on the water today. Last night was 39 degrees. I have no idea how it's gonna be, but it is beautiful. I got the day off, Katie's busy, no one else is doing anything, so I'm taking out the old L2 fish. So uh, I'm basically gonna target like some mud flats and just like some clear water stuff that I haven't really been able to fish in a while thanks to the murky water and stuff, but 39, especially for the past couple days, like 39 consistently at night, um, they should be starting to school up, starting to group up, maybe in the back of creeks, maybe on banks. I don't know, I just wanna get out. It's been a busy month, it's been a busy year, like baby girl on the way. We are stoked for that, but really stoked to just unplug for a second and go fish, so let's get the hell out of there. Got him. I put one of these dark ones in front of him. He tore it up. Jeez. Jeez. Yeah, these like late fall, early winter fish are crazy for this kind of stuff. That's a good fish, holy crap. Honestly, a lot better of a fish than I thought it was. This thing's like chunky. Check that out. Dude, a good one on those little black and purple ones I've been tying. Black purple, always a good go-to for like fall, winter, dark minnow patterns, something like that. That is a freaking good fish, holy cow. Screws in the bank, been out here like 15 minutes. Definitely need a couple more of these. That is a prime specimen. I'm guessing like that. That 27, it's a good fish. Well, we got a couple more turned down. But we're gonna head into this creek, see how it is. But overall, pretty nice day. Super clear water out here. I don't really know how it's so clear, but didn't really see as many in creek number two. Not as many chances, but let me, pull this creek and see if see if something comes up couldn't ask for a better November day I mean it's not even that cold anymore and I feel fine in these maybe a little warm
another good one. Swish and pan. Like, hold on. Smaller, not bad. Look at that. Look at that tan shrimp. I'm kind of in it right now, so I'm gonna keep going. Three or four. I think we'll get those two fish. It's uh, a lot of balls now, so I took off waders to give my shit some air. And uh, yeah, there's like a bunch of people out here now, trolling motors. I'm not feeling that, so I think I'm gonna try one more mid tide spot and then probably call it. But I thought you guys could come along on a little early winter redfish hunt. That was fun. Uh, let me get fired up, let's check a couple more spots and then call it a day. God, he was just cruising. Can't believe he ate that. Oh my God. Them tan shrimp doing work. Oh, last little spot. Paid off. Uh, I can't believe he went for that. It's like clear. I thought he spooked off with the other one, but I uh, just led pretty well with that tan shrimp. Crushed it. That's sick. Let's get him back. Might be another one out here. Good time. Spunky. Spunky chunky, dude. That is sick. Number three today. Oh, got him. <clears throat> Number four in the flat. Oh, let's go. That was sick. He's not bad size either. Oh my God, I just released that fish. <laughs> let's go. That was sick. I thought I put it on his head. Come on, get out of there. Where are you going, dude? Where'd that shrimp go? Look at him there. That's crazy. Number four. Another good one. Jesus, hook fell out. Thank you.
Come on, come over here. A lot of pilings right here. Let's freaking go. That's three up here on this little flat. Jesus. Got me. No, I'm not going under there. That's a little better one, number five. That's what's up. That's a good one. Read the needle on those docks. Let's go. Good one. Number five. Yes, sir. That went pretty good. Usually when I check one more spot, it doesn't pan out like that, but that was a great day. Lots of happy fish. I think I ended up going like five for seven or eight. Missed at least two. The last one and the really skinny just got hung up on a weed and then I saw his gills flare and then just didn't take it. But hope you guys are getting out there this fall. Appreciate the watch. Appreciate all the good vibes and uh, yeah. Throw some dark colors, throw some tans, lead the fish well, get up skinny. Once it gets really cold, like the water is really, really not that cold right now. It's, I'm guessing like high 60s or like low 70s, but still like prime redfish hunting weather. So get out there, appreciate it. Get on some fish, some waves Sunday, I think. But uh, yeah, one day at a time, one fish at a time. Let's go.